Hey guys, back Rose Brenton here. So uh, I'm here in Texas, back in Texas. Beautiful day, but uh, once the sun goes down, it uh, it gets chilly quick. So I'm running my little propane heater that I got out of an old ice shanty from a long time ago. Working pretty good. I changed the oil in my truck today, and I think it's worthy of putting together a little video. Um, I've been watching a lot of Steve Wallace on YouTube lately. He's kind of like, between him and Bald and Bankrupt, they like, uh, I don't know. They, they're doing something right. <laughs> they got a lot of viewers, so. So, uh, I'm coming up with a catchphrase. I'm kind of, you know, I know I've been going with, um, thanks for putting up with me, which still applies, and I mean it. But, uh, I was also thinking of another one. So, if you guys ever have any, I don't know, if you got any ideas, you know, put them in the comment section, and we'll come up with something eventually to put on a t-shirt, so. <laughs> Okay, guys, so uh, with no further ado, enjoy the video. Amazingly, I didn't know this, but down here in Texas, I guess because they build, build the Tundras down here, they actually sell them at Walmart, the official Toyota oil filter, so awesome. I always just get the cheapest oil because um, I change mine every 3,000 miles or so. So the cheapest I'm finding here is the Walmart brand. It's a 1030 for uh, about 14 bucks for the big jug and three dollars for the little ones. So I should be able to do this for about 20 bucks, which is going to be about the cheapest oil change you can you can do. So we'll see how this goes. Okay guys, so uh, they wouldn't sell me the beer because it was before noon on Sunday, which is some kind of Texas law. So we're going to skip the first step, go to the second step, which is the oil change, and then we'll come back to the first step when it's afternoon. So, Hey guys, I know this is probably pretty basic, but I'm just going to cover everything in case there might be one or two of you out there that's doing this for the first time. So before you drain your oil, of course, make sure your engine is nice and warm. Take it for a drive so that the oil gets um, thinner and drains better. And then go ahead and... Uh, oh, hold on. I had to use pliers to loosen mine, but go ahead and take your filler cap off. That'll give it a little more suction when it's draining the oil. Now I went ahead and took off my scooter carrier so I can get to the drain plug easier. And my Tundra uses a 14 millimeter. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like when you crawl underneath your truck, more or less. Now I know this sounds really silly, but make sure when you drain, you pull the drain plug, it's the actual engine oil and not the transmission. People have done that, believe it or not. So here's my engine drain, and the transmission would be back there. So just, you know, before you do it, check twice. So this time I'm just using a five gallon bucket to recycle the used oil from the catch into something I can take to the auto parts store and then recycle it properly okay guys I'm gonna show you something here it's kind of specific to the Toyota I think but it might apply to other trucks because I've I'm pretty much a Toyota guy but so Toyota uses a external oil filter 
or like an, a, how would you call this, like a remote oil filter, they might call it. So you can see that, you know, it's piped in externally from the motor. And these are a total pain in the ass. There's just no way around it. Some people have theorized that Toyota did this on purpose just to kind of make a everyday maintenance item, you know, owner, owner operator maintenance item more difficult than it needs to be. It's about the stupidest design you could ever imagine. Plus where it's located, you can see the torsion bar is in the way. So, you know, it's one of these special tool items. Oh, one more thing. Don't forget to put your drain plug back in. Believe it or not, people have actually done that before too. They put the new oil in, it just drains right on the ground. I did that once when I was in my 20s and more of an idiot. Okay, so this is the tool that I use to get the cap off. Um, if you have like a Chevy, Ford, whatever, especially an older truck, none of this is going to apply because you just get oil filter cartridges that just spin off and on. Piece of cake, which is what to Tundra should have done in the first place. So, her Toyota should have done in the first place. Okay, well, sure enough, this cap got stuck this time. It's one of these things where if you make it one click too tight, you can't get it back off. And if it's too loose, it'll drip. So, I had to end up using a... Um, I had to use a hammer to get it loose, and now I'm taking it all the way off. But luckily, I have a replacement. Ugh. Okay, guys, well, I think I've... I don't think... Have I ever used a, a curse word on any of my videos? I think I did once, back on my shanty boat trip, needlessly. Sorry about that. But, uh... This video is going to take a lot of editing to keep with that tradition because this is just about the stupidest you know what anyone's ever designed. This cap's ruined. I mean it might still work in a pinch if I was in the Sahara Desert or something and really needed to change the oil. But uh, yeah, they're about 50 bucks from Toyota. So much for a cheap oil change. Well, luckily I've had this problem before, so I have this Venza cap, which I'm going to have to modify a little bit to make work, but it has to be done. Okay, so I'll just show you here. See what, what the sadistic designer at Toyota did was when you go to tighten up this drain, it inadvertently tightens the whole cap, which then you can't get off again without the special tool or breaking it. Um, I like steak and chicken, but but I really like steak. But if you don't have chicken, I'll just take steak. Steak's good. I'll take chicken and steak. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Just, 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 just say go. Just say go. Come on. Just, huh. The steak. Just, Ollie wants this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.